Hi there, this is Chris from Moto Legends, Chap in the Cap, here today to talk to you about a helmet from Shui. It's called the X Zero. First glance, it might look like an off road helmet. It's actually very much an on road helmet, but let's break it down, let's talk through it and explain why this helmet is one of our favorite road helmets for summer weather riding. So in essence, the X0 is a JO with an added chin bar. If we look at the helmets side by side, look at those profiles, it is the same shell. So what Shui have done, this helmet is brilliant. It's by far and away the best open face helmet on the market. We love it, it's comfortable, it's safe, it's got features you won't find on any other open face helmet. It is an extraordinary open face helmet. What Shui have done, his They've just taken the same helmet, they've put a chin bar in. And what it's meant to do is for those people who want the wind in your hair feeling that you get from an open face, but who want to preserve their chins, then that's the role the X0 fills. It's, it looks, I admit, something like an off-road helmet. Helmets like this, I think Bell created the first one, the Moto, the Moto helmet, which became the Moto 2, the Moto 3 back in the 80s. Shui did have their version of that helmet and it looked very much like this. But make no mistake, this is not meant to be in any way an off-road helmet. Yes, it looks great on a scrambler bike, but this has been designed very much for the road. Let's just talk through some of the features because like the JO, it's very feature laden, lots of stuff on it that distinguish it for or from, for example, the Bell Moto 3, um, we think this is a, a better helmet in a number of respects. Shell comes in three different shell sizes. That's actually, in truth, probably less than the Bell. Bell are pretty much obsessed by this low profile. Um, they have three shell sizes, which is what one expects of a good quality manufacturer. Um, the shell is Shui's well-known AIM shell. That's a matrix shell, um, and that's a, a combination of carbon and organic fibers. It makes for a lightweight, flexible, shock absorbing, yet still pretty strong shell. It doesn't get any safer than, that, than this. In terms of comfort, always a plus point with a Shui. We have the ability, as we do with just about every Shui, in fact, as far as I'm concerned, every Shui, we have the ability to change the cheek pads and the headlinings to get the fit absolutely spot on. So if when you put this helmet on, if we find that there's a little bit of space in the cheeks, we can put a thicker cheek pad in. If it's a little bit tight in the forehead, we can put a thinner head headliner in. With this helmet, more than with any other helmet in the range, we have greater flexibility because we have five different cheek pad fittings. On the GT Air 2, on the Neotech 2, we have only three fittings. That does in most circumstances. But because of the way this fits, some people may want a little bit of a, of a, of a thicker fit. Some people may want a thinner fit because of the way this chin bar comes round. So we've actually got five different sizes of cheek pad. Um, the only way to really get it right is to visit a dealer that carries these in stock. Um, I can't see how you can guarantee to get it correct if you buy it on the internet. Um, problem is not every dealer carries these, we do all the time. So if you really want to get this a spot on, I suppose, set your sat nav for Guildford. Same with the headliner, easy in, easy out. Three different sizes of head headliner. So we can make this helmet fit as well as any helmet out there. The other big selling point of this helmet over something like the Moto3 or indeed any of the helmets that look like this, and there are several on, on the market. I think Premier have, have got one, DMD have got one. There is a drop down visor. Cleverly, exactly as with the JO, this is adjustable. There are three positions here. So if you put it on the lowest position with a lot of people, unfortunately it will touch their nose. If we push it further up, if we click this up, then there's a chance that it won't touch, touch the nose. It doesn't come down as far. So that's the X0. We think it's a fantastic fit of kit. I love to wear this in the summer. I might wear a JO or an open face if I'm going up the hill for a bacon sandwich here, go up to Newlands Corner. I know it's a couple of miles. I'm only gonna be doing 34, 40 miles an hour. I might be prepared to take that risk. But if I'm going further afield and the weather's nice, I don't need the full rain protection of a full face helmet, then this is my helmet of choice. It's comfortable, quieter than you would expect it to be. Partly it's quieter because we have the ability 
when it's properly fitted, when the cheeks are, um, are nicely squeezed with the right size of cheek pad, then not a, lot, not a lot of noise is going to get in this helmet. Clearly, it's going to be noisier than a Neotech 2 or a GTA 2. You've got this great big aperture here, but it's not as noisy as you would expect. And once we've got it fitted properly, it's reasonably quiet. Now, the other thing that you can do with this helmet, and in some ways the reason for this video, is to talk to you about the option to fit goggles with this helmet. Now, you might want to fit goggles purely for look. So if you're riding a Triumph Scrambler, Ducati Scrambler, something like, like that, or a, a BMW R9T Scrambler, you might want to have the goggle look. The goggles work particularly well. If there's a problem with a drop-down visor, it's that if you're doing speed, there is a potential for air to come up underneath and blow into, into your eyes. Um, I think if you were wearing contact lenses, that could be an issue. So at times, if you want a proper seal, if you want fuller protection, then you might wear these, this helmet with goggles. It takes pretty much any goggle. Um, I've got two here from, from Ethan, uh, favorites of ours, um, the Cafe Racers and the other one whose name I can't remember. But anyway, um, they fit nicely into this aperture. In truth, we've not found many goggles that don't fit well. But the one that fits best is a new goggle that's coming through from Klim. It just looks and feels as though it's been designed for this helmet. I'm sure it hasn't. Um, I'm sure it wasn't on their design brief at all, but for various reasons, it fits perfectly. It's got this nose guard here. E really easy to get on and off, as you can see. It's got this nose guard here. So that when you put that down underneath the nose piece here, it gives you almost complete and utter coverage. So whereas with these goggles, I suppose there's still a capacity for stones to come in and catch your upper lip. With this goggle, then there's absolutely none. So this goggle from Klim, not available yet. We're recording this at the beginning of 2020. It's early January to 2020. These goggles, I don't have a price even, but they're due in, I suppose, about March time. But if you are looking at an X0, maybe you've got an X0. But if you're looking at an X0 in, in the future and you want goggles, then there just isn't a pair that work as well as these. Um, so anyway, that's the X0 helmet, a favorite of ours. Much better than any of the helmets that purport to do the same, uh, same job in terms of quality and fit and, and so on and features. Um, if you would like to know more about the, the, the helmet, visit the website at www.motolegends.com. If you want to go directly to the products to read about it in more detail and maybe to buy one of these helmets, if you click on the button top right, you can do that now. If you would like to, in the future, receive bulletins about products like this and other new stuff that comes through, then at the top of the website, there's a newsletter sign up button. So just click on there, easy to sign up. If you prefer, however, to get your information videographically in this form, then we would be delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Of course, you always have the option of coming to see us here in Guildford. We'd love to see, uh, see you here. I suppose what I would say, and I've said it already, is that if you want to get this helmet fitting absolutely the way it should, then that is maybe a reason to come and see us. If you buy this mail order, it's a nicely fitting helmet. It fits most people. So if you're a medium, there's a good chance that this is going to work well on you. If you've got another medium shoey, indeed, it's going to be about right. But with those five different options of cheek pad, you're not going to know what's going to work best on you. And the only way that you can get this helmet to fit absolutely perfectly is to visit a dealer, a shoey dealer, that carries all the cheek pads. In truth, however, the problem is that most dealers don't. So if, you really, if you're keen on this helmet and you really want to get it right, come and see us in Guildford. Anyway, this has been Chris at Moto Legends. Thank you for listening. We hope to talk soon.